It has now been over a year since the launch of Overwatch and a lot of people would probably argue that the game is as healthy as ever. Well, maybe not in relation to bugs and balancing, but we're still talking about millions upon millions of active players. While the game continues to reach new audiences to expand upon its already massive player base, there has also been a good chunk of the community that has been playing since launch. Maybe even earlier than that if you count the beta phases. And as anecdotal as this is, a lot of people have been complaining about the start of Season 5 being one of the worst competitive launches launches yet. People throwing and trolling purposefully seem to be unavoidable at this point all across the ladder. While the devs have already made a statement ensuring us that they are working on harsher punishments for players who ruin the core competitive gameplay experience, it might still be worth talking about. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Before I even bother jumping into things that other people said, I'd like to kick things off with my own experiences, things that I have come across while playing or watching other people's livestreams. And not all these things are exactly new, it's more about them feeling worse now. One thing being one trick smurf accounts, it's something I've already brought up near the end of season 4. The sheer amount of GM players making accounts dedicated to only playing a single hero to the point where you end up in matches where two of such players would fight for who can play Hanzo. At this point in time, I have already her players openly admit that they do such things to challenge themselves. I won't be naming any of them for obvious reasons, but there are players who have been in GM or even top 500 for multiple seasons already, and now they're looking for something else to strive for. One player quoted, I just gotta do it man, you know, I've been top 500 every season, what's the point anymore? So now I'm trying to do it on Bastion only. And I'm not talking about someone smurfing on platinum claiming to be a top 500 player, because the person in question actually did that on their main account, where you could even see that they're not bullshitting. Torbjorn only, Hanzo only, Bastion only, and the list goes on and on. It seems like the only way these players enjoy ranked at this point is by playing heroes that are universally considered suboptimal. Obviously, much to the detriment of their teammates. Even if they are decent on their picks, them refusing to swap even when hard countered makes the entire match infinitely more difficult than it has to be. But not every player is just looking for a challenge, others simply enjoy playing their hero of choice and nothing else. And then there's another special breed of asshole that is so bored of the game that the only way they enjoy it is by messing with others. That includes May players walling off their teammates, players deliberately playing suboptimal heroes with no intention of actually helping, players that throw games if anyone dares to call them out on being dicks and the list goes on and on. Long story short is that these types of players log into the game fully prepared to lose matches on purpose just to get a chuckle. And all of this obviously leads to others feeling burned out even faster. Those of us who want to enjoy a competitive experience are just fed up with having to deal with these kinds of players over and over again. This in big part is the reason why I have only been playing the absolute minimum of 7 matches a week to avoid decay. Now these things I would argue are pretty relatable. Some players are bored of doing the same thing every season, so they set themselves challenges. Other players are so bored of the game in general that their entire enjoyment comes from messing with others. And a third party of players that would be absolutely fine with playing the game, let's call it properly for the sake of argument, is getting fed up with having to deal with the previous two parties. But I would say that there is more than just trolling. By now, a lot of players have stacked up a decent amount of hours and they feel like they have seen everything. These types of players are very likely to give up early into a match. And that in itself is extremely irritating. As most of you probably know, Overwatch has been deliberately designed with comebacks in mind. In a lot of circumstances, a simple hero swap can make a massive difference, particularly the lower we venture on the ladder. Now, if a player is under the impression that a failed first push means that they will lose, lose, they are already, even if only subconsciously, deciding to put less effort into the game. But them being negative Nancys also drags down team morale as a whole, it can be very contagious in fact. Why would I bust my ass trying to win this game if that other guy already gave up? And adding to all of that is the good old meta slaving culture that we have gracefully embraced in the community. Now, Dive was already on the rise throughout Season 4, especially in higher elo. But now in Season 5, with the Overwatch contenders giving us ever the more reason to only want to play this one comp, it's getting pretty stale. While I would argue that Dive takes considerably more skill to pull off than the old pre-nerf tank meta, it does not change the fact that seeing the same comps over and over again is daunting. Not to mention that particularly support mains have been suffering in this meta. It's not like players needed another excuse to not protect their healers, but what a better excuse is there than having to dive the enemy backline. At the end of the day, Lucio is the only support hero that can effectively defend himself against Dive. If your team does not pull off a proper dive comp, then odds are that you will die a lot 
more than you previously did. And there's nothing more frustrating than being victim to a dive comp as a support player while nobody in your team really gives the slightest shit. You know what, I can see why players feel burned out in this meta already. Fact of the matter states that I love Overwatch and I would love to enjoy playing Overwatch again, but recently it's just been too much RNG. It's been too much RNG with teammates hoping that I don't get a Hanzo main again, hoping that I don't get a troll locking Ana just to shoot their floor the entire game, and hoping that I can either play Lucio or beg my team to protect me from the Genji, Tracer, Winston comp that I encounter in every other match. But hey, I don't have to be the only one whining, did you feel burned out on Overwatch? watch recently? If so, then why is that? Feel free to share your thoughts down in the comment section below. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to drop me a like on your way up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and I hope to see you all next time. Kirk, is that uh, you from the YouTube channel? Me, yeah. Holy That's shit, me. is that the real Kirk? You Kark can just here? tell the voice. You can just tell <laughs> the voice. Is that, is that, is that, is that my boy Cliff? Is this the, the Cliff I'm thinking? No, just a fan account. Fair, fair, fair.